What's going on, guys, and welcome to another review here at Big Gold Bell Media. Today, we're actually going to talk about Civil War, premiering only in theaters April 12th. Uh, this film was written and directed by Alex Garland, and then it's also distributed by A24. Um, this action thriller um, is running about an hour and 49 minutes, and oh boy, was I left on the edge of my seat every single scene and scene in this in this film um and i i love i guess you could say i love war movies or i love action movies or you know sci-fi thrillers like this but this one man it took me to a different place i wasn't only on the edge of my seat but i felt nervous i felt like i was watching a horror film for a little bit for a second because it was giving me the real embodiment of being in a war zone of course, we watched the film in IMAX, which I think this the IMAX gives so many different levels to this film that that's the only experience you have to watch this. So I am gonna tell you guys at home right now, if you go watch this Civil War out April 12th, make sure you watch an IMAX because it takes you right to the locations and just from the helicopter sounds, the 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 the, the shooting of the firearms. Oh, my gosh. I was like. Kind of like, I was kind of scared to be honest with you. I felt like I was really, you know, teleported into to these different scenes in the movie. And I think that's what film is supposed to do. It's supposed to take you from where you are in real life and take you straight to these destination and places. And I can tell you right now, Civil War definitely did it for me. Um, so enough about me. Let's talk about the film a little bit. So this stars Kristen Dunst, Wagner Mara, Jesse Palumos, uh, Kaylee Spanley, Nick Offerman as the president, as well as Stephen McKinley Henderson, who does such an amazing job in this. Um, there are four focus characters that we get to see in this film. Uh, of course, Kristen Wagner, Kaylee, and Stephen McKinley's um, character. Uh, we get to kind of follow as they're trying to race against time. So just give you guys a little synopsis of what this film is about. Um, it is in a dystopian future america a team of military embedded journalists race against time to reach washington dc before rebel factions descend upon the white house so i, I like i said i'm not going to give anything away <laughs> about this film um but they did such an amazing job with the special effects um with the character placement as well as the storyline of the characters um it really had me diving head first into um this whole entire act you know um i was i was definitely uh submerged 100 percent, and i almost felt closer to these characters than any other film i've seen in such a long time um it definitely gave me a better aspect or outlook on having more respect for photojournalists but also war photojournalists um I'm fortunate to live in a place where we haven't had to see things of this nature to such a magnitude that is placed in this film. And it made me just appreciate not only where I am in the world, but also what these people do and how they put their lives on the line to make this whole entire world conscious of all the things and all the crazy things that are actually happening, not just in their area but all over the world um but it also i mean it's it's crazy the trauma that these people have to suffer and go through and it's kind of normalized for them to be able to do this as a job to um not only tell a story but also tell the world and make them more aware of what's going on you know um but i, I feel like this film did such a great job captivating not only that but putting us in a futuristic scene where these things were happening, you know, um, we got to see a lot of different locations. Um, I'm from the East Coast. I'm in Washington, D.C. area. So for me, we got to see, you know, Washington, D.C. We got to see Pittsburgh. We got to see um, North Carolina as well as New York is a huge, huge location. But the way they transform these locations into these futuristic, almost apocalyptic type war zones it is out of this world with the special effects. Um I, I, I cannot commend the special effects team enough. They did such a great job and really brought this film to life. Um, and then, you know, the, another thing I have to commend is also the score, right? The, the music in here, 
um, was done by Ben Salisbury as well as uh, Gelf uh, Barrow. Um, the music that they put together in this film was very not strange, but it was an out of out of body experience, I guess you would say. Um, it seemed like something that would be playing in your mind when all these crazy scenes are going on, so that you can kind of put it out of you know out of sight, out of mind. Um, it reminded me very much of listening to a Beatles album in the seventies during Vietnam. That's what it reminded me of, or that's how I could kind of make it make sense. Um, but when people actually see this film and you check it out, you're gonna be like, "Wow, this music is very fitting for trying to lose yourself." You know, and not think about all the violence and all the chaos and all the crazy things going around you, you know, just appreciating the little tiny things on a day to day basis that we might not appreciate because we have so much to be fortunate for currently. Um, like I said, this film runs about 109 minutes or so an hour and 49 minutes. Um, and I, I, I honestly can't say there was much to it that I didn't like. There were so many great points i think to this film that it's hard to say that i didn't like any of it I, I literally think it was such a masterpiece that they put together or that um uh uh that the the director actually created because um the whole entire film that alice garland has created is literally transcending anything we've seen in theaters currently right now and i am super super excited for you guys to be able to check this out at home um so let's see, what, what are some talking points that I thought that the film could have used? Um, discretion, right? Discretion was was unheard of. I mean, of course, it's a war zone, right? So they're not going to be like, hey, watch out. I'm about to shoot the gun, you know? But being an IMAX theater, I'm not, I'm not a very scarable guy, right? But watching this and hearing some of this gunfire, and it wasn't a warnings when somebody was going to shoot another person. It was just like, boom. You know, I've jumped. I jumped several, several times in this film. And I, I'll admit it. I'm not afraid to say it. Um, several times it definitely caught me off guard. Um, but I think that's what this film is supposed to do. It's supposed to catch you off guard. Um, and the character relationship between Kristen Dunst as well as Wagner and Kaylee's characters. It's, it's beautifully written and beautifully conveyed together. I think they or they all work so well together, as well as Stephen McKinley Henderson, because we get to see these four characters almost on a road trip all together, right? So you get to see them kind of grow. They learn from each other, and they kind of find a way of a passing of a torch, I guess you could say, in this film. Um, and that's not really giving away anything. You'll be able to see that through the trailer in this film. Um, I, 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 I mean, I love uh, Jesse Palomo's uh and he does such an amazing job in this film so i'm excited for you guys to see that as well um but yeah i i think this film if i had to rate it out of 10 i'm definitely giving it an eight for sure i think this is definitely a must watch gotta see it at imax theaters but i'm excited for you guys to check this one out i'm i'm, I'm privileged and i'm you know super fortunate to be able to have seen it early myself and I think a lot of people are going to be really surprised that this Civil War film is one that wasn't on the radar, but it's going to catch a lot of people, especially this spring, especially this spring. So, guys, make sure you go check out Civil War out April 12th, only in theaters. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button. And let us know what you think of the film or what you're most excited about down below. Um until next time, make sure you guys go check us out at BigGoldBeltMedia.com. And thanks again for checking us out. Peace. Peace.